hey you guys thank you for tuning in to our youtube video uh i'm courtney for those who don't know and i'm queen and today we're just going to be talking about some of the things that we've been experiencing for the past week um so i don't know if you guys know but uh we do live in texas and in texas it has been a huge snowstorm a lot of you know snow cold freezing ice. you know yeah ice everything so um i hope everyone stays safe i hope everyone was stayed warm and was okay and everything worked out for them i know for us our power did go out for a little while but it ended up coming back on we didn't have any problems really with our you know water and pipes and stuff but it was a lot of snow uh so we, as far as ups and us being truck drivers we have not actually worked the whole week which is kind of like a bittersweet situation only because you know it is dangerous to drive in your car in the snow and on black ice or regular ice you know so just to imagine being in an 18 wheeler driving on that you know that's extremely dangerous i'm not sure if you guys seen the stuff that happened in Fort Worth, uh, you know. All my condolences and prayers go out to the family. Exactly, and um, I hope everyone was safe and okay. Um, but for us, our experience was we basically just didn't get any calls, get, didn't get any work for this whole week. Um, I know. It's crazy. Yeah, it, it's, it's just been a crazy week, and I know people have their own things to worry about. You know, I guess the main thing that really bothered me Work-wise, now, I'm just speaking work-wise, the main thing that really bothered me is that we didn't get any calls, any updates. It was still people, um, supervisors, supervisors that came in, uh, even though it was a snowstorm. And, you know, uh, I guess they were doing whatever dispatch work. And my only problem is we didn't get any calls or any updates of like, hey, you're not coming in to work this week. Or like, hey, it was kind of just like on a daily type notice. And I not feel like, that, yeah, they didn't, call. they didn't give us a call at all. And oh. that kind of bothered me. I had to keep calling every single day. It's because like, I like to stay updated. I just feel like, you know, I, I have to update you on me then i want you to update me on what's going on you know and also another thing that bothers me is because we have not been working for ups for a super long time that we don't have any pto any like you know vacation time we don't have any of that time to get back any money for this week so we're basically out of a whole week of work and out of pay which is it really sucks you yeah, know damn if you do damn if you don't exactly so and also i think when i spoke to my supervisor i was told that you don't get any pay or pto time until after a year of working at ups and that was kind of like okay to me so what are we supposed to do if we have doctor's appointments or emergencies or you know things like this happens i know none of those things are ever planned mm -hmm. but it is good to have some type of backup or some type of something you know i go i go to work faithfully and i do my job so i expect you know my job to give me something back you know yeah at least for you know what happened or uh, what happened this week with the weather storm you know exactly they should pay drivers you know, just be courteous of, you know, your new employees, you know, that goes a long way with employees and that would go a long way for the employers in the future. Pay your employees for time that, you know, time off as far as a weather storm. We can't avoid that. So. Now, yeah, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to sound ungrateful. I'm not trying to sound like they owe us something. You know, we didn't work. They technically don't owe us anything, but I still feel like, you know, we missed a whole week of work. I don't know about y'all, but I have adult bills. So, you know, I just feel like we should be compensated in some way. Like, I'm not asking for a million dollars, but in some way, to be compensated and even now you know for the last two days the snow is gone the ice is melted you know we still haven't got any work we just getting work today you know and it's it's friday, friday. we ain't been to work since last friday yeah. so it's just i don't know it's just a crazy situation you know i've seen a lot of comments um 
under the videos that I did reply to and it was basically saying, oh, we should be grateful for this. We should be grateful for that. A lot of people work 10, 15 years. It's not about that. If you choose to work 10, 15 years to get to this position as a feeder driver, that is a 100% your choice. I congratulate you. That is something good you chose to do. That's great. Me, I did not choose to do that. So that's not something that I'm going to get on board with because it's just not a choice that I made. Yeah, you when, shouldn't make somebody feel bad, you know. Exactly. A like newcomer that, you know, wanted to feed a job, feed a job like you, but they didn't put in 10, 15 years. That don't make them any less qualified for the job. Yeah, and like, it, it's not that we're trying to sound ungrateful or anything because you, try, you work 10 years to get to this position and we work 10 days to get to this position. It's just a simple fact that when we got hired, we were told a certain thing so when you get hired right it's a contract right I'm your employee and you give me a list of duties that I'm supposed to do if in that contract you do not follow the duties that you put on in there on your part then it's going to be a problem with me if in that contract I have to do extracurricular activities that is not in that contract then it's going to be a problem you know and it's just like yes Ultimately, we could find another truck driving job, but we're sticking with, the only reason we're sticking with UPS is because of the end goal. You know, we all have an end goal. We all want a career. We all want to make money. We all want to do certain things, you know, and we all want to work towards something. Of course, we all want more, but it just like, I don't know. It's just, you shouldn't have to go through different difficulties if you're doing your part, you know? Exactly. That's all I'm saying. But as far as that, other than that, you know, UPS is a great job. It does have great 401k. It does have, you know, great benefits when you're able to get those benefits. Right now, we, we're not able to get those benefits because we haven't been here long enough. And I understand that, but that does not mean that I'm going to be happy about it. No. Yeah, exactly. And also, you know, uh, I did see some people asking about like, how could they get higher from package car or, you know, if they only had a limited amount of CDL experience. I know in our first video, we spoke about, you know, we went to Ohio and Pennsylvania and all these other places. I extremely have 100% confidence that you could get hired off the street at those places. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm strictly talking about Pennsylvania and Ohio. Those are the only places we've been to. You definitely can get hired off the street. When we went there, they didn't really require any experience as long as you can get in that truck and drive. Safely. Safely, exactly. Without hitting anything. So if you want to do that and you live in those areas, definitely think about it. Definitely try it. Why not? You know? But I wouldn't say go a hundred, a thousand miles to travel to a whole different state no. to yeah, to for a job. No, I wouldn't encourage yeah, that. Do it do it in your city, do it in your hometown. If exactly. Mind, then, you know. Or start from the bottom, you know, start in package car, or start in the warehouse if if that's if that's what you want, you want but that's not something you have to do because no. we didn't do that we didn't start in the warehouse we, we got we got kind of lucky yeah we saying, we did so. get lucky but at the same time it's just like they get you can get lucky anywhere not yeah. just here you know what i'm saying so i would definitely say go for it um if you are in package car you do know everything is seniority based so you do have to just wait until it's your time mm -hmm. to you know sign that list to get on that sen uh, you know to uh sign that list to get on the everything is about seniority yeah to get on on the the feeder driver list or whatever it's called Everything is seniority based. We deal with the same problems. You know, our stuff is seniority based also. And we are at the bottom and have to deal with the BS and deal with the problems. So don't think that it's going to be better because you get on the seniority list for the feeder driver. It's not. Are you, no, it's not. You're, you're not. On call. Exactly. You're, you will be on call. Worker. Now, I wouldn't say you're a laid off worker, but you will be on call. You will have to do stuff that you might not want to do. If you have package and you have consistency, I know the, the job is hard slinging around 230 to 300 boxes a day. I, but I would say, you know, if you've been working there as a package car driver, you know, 
No, nah, I would definitely say go to feeder if that's what you want to do. I wouldn't say stay there because you've been work. doing it. If y'all got work. Even if you don't got work, still go to feeder. I mean, I wouldn't say go, don't switch to package car because you've been doing it because at the end of the day uh you can make more money in feeder even if it is a you little can. bit slower like if they ask me today or tomorrow hey do you want to downgrade to package car i'm gonna say no because that's not what i want to do i wouldn't it's tell anybody yeah i feel like it, it may it be harder than it is uh I, it may be harder in package car than it is feeder but um just because y'all deliver more boxes you know we mostly drive and i don't know i mean personally me i've never done that but like i said i would definitely say try to be a feeder driver uh also i would just say you know if you want to do it go for it you know ups is an ultimately good company we're just trying to update you guys with the difficulties that we run into in our area you know what i'm saying I'm not saying it's gonna happen in every company in every area. You know, I know a lot of questions I do have. I do speak to my union rep, my union steward, and you know, any questions that you guys ask us, we will try our best to answer. I always ask my union steward questions, you know, about the pay, about the benefits, how things work. You know, like it, it's different things that I didn't even know. You know, like the, for instance, there is no probational period. After you, your 31 punches, you're basically in, you know what I'm saying? It's different things that we learn every single day. And as we learn those things, I will update you guys. If y'all have any comments or anything y'all wanna ask us, please just let us know. And you know, if we may have be getting something wrong, y'all can always tell us how, you know, your area is going, how things are going where you live yeah. and at your hub. Every Maybe local is different. Yeah, you know, every everything is different. Every situation, every person is different. So, you know, let's let's educate each other is what I'm trying to say. Um, but thank you guys for tuning into our YouTube channel. We do have to go to work now. But uh please like, comment and subscribe and be safe out there. Bye.